Dak is definitely overrated as it pertains to Dallas Cowboys, for sure. I can already tell this take is not about to make any sense because what does that even mean? As it pertains to the Dallas Cowboys, Dak Prescott is overrated. Are you trying to say that Dak Prescott having the season that he had last year wasn't the entire reason that we all were tricked into believing this team was a playoff ready team? Even though we all knew it had gaping holes on the defense and the running game was kind of shifty. We had a recovering right tackle in the offensive line that had a decrease in productivity than we've seen over the years. Even though all these different factors were going on, we still ended up having the number one offense. But Dak Prescott is overrated, right? I guess C.D. Lamb is throwing a ball to himself. If we just look at from the offense, he's not the best offensive player on his own team. That's C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb's not on there. But I think what when you look at things like this, the Cowboy fan base is just over Dak just like their executive offices like are. No, you want to know we're actually over? We're over you guys. You guys who went to Twitter University. We're over you guys trying to speak for Dallas Cowboys fans, bro. Y'all have no clue about the actual temperature of the real Cowboys community because all y'all do is go on Twitter and take a look at the most disgruntled and loudest, angriest, usually most ignorant fans spewing their opinions on the internet. See, that's the problem with a lot of our representation as a Cowboys community, and that's why I'm here, bro. The Cowboys community has been done a disservice because we've had people who are overly emotional, non-analytical, and honestly can't make a good point representing us and being the face for our fan base for way too long, bro. This this has to stop. It seems like, like. If, if you don't have a quarterback that you're saying he is our guy and he is up for a contract extension and you don't extend him, because even all this that we're talking about mm -hmm. with CD, what, what's going to come up with Micah, it could be pretty much, a, it could have been alleviated a little bit if you had one of them signed. Bro, what is this man even talking about? Bro, this take don't even make sense. Y'all see, these dudes even twist themselves up trying to make these idiotic ass points, bro. What is he talking about, bro? He's the longest, he's one of the longest tenured Cowboys. So at the quarterback position, where have they struggled in the postseason? Right. At the quarterback yeah, position, yeah. the team has struggled, but primarily we look at the quarterback of carrying the most weight. So I guess all of a sudden Dak Prescott is the only and the biggest issue that the Cowboys have had in the playoffs, huh? Dak Prescott, the same guy that in his first trip in the playoffs, he came out with a 103.2 quarterback rating. His second trip in the playoffs, that was two games long, he came out with a 91.3 quarterback rating, two touchdowns, one interception, had some rushing stuff in there. His third trip to the playoffs, that was genuinely a bad game. I give you that one, but if you take a look at that box score, you'll realize there was nothing else going on either. The running game wasn't working, the receivers didn't show up to play. All right, to 2022, we look at that one, 101.5 quarterback rating was he the issue in that playoff run as well was that the year that he had an almost perfect game against tom brady yes it was in 2023 the defense gave up 50 points what are we talking about here I guess Dak Prescott's the only quarterback in the league that's not allowed to make mistakes and have other aspects of his teams hold the ship up until he's able to course correct, huh? Even though we've seen this happen with other quarterbacks all throughout the playoffs, whether it be Joe Burrow getting carried to the Super Bowl by his defense and his kicker, whether it be Jalen Hurts contributing to a minimal part of the Philadelphia Eagles playoff run that year they went to the Super Bowl home. Or Patrick Mahomes having his defense hold opponents under 20 points per game. But we look at Dak Prescott and his playoff success and guys like Greg Jennings only blame those issues on Dak Prescott. So check this out. We'll do this. Let's look at Greg Jennings' career. Since he wants to talk about how Dak is a product of the people around him, I'll say, Greg, you are a product of Aaron Rodgers. And even with the great Aaron Rodgers hand-feeding you the football, just essentially handing you the ball in the end zone with perfect ball placement, you still were nothing more than a secondary receiver on your teams. And as soon as you left the comforting embrace of Aaron Rodgers, what happened? You went to Minnesota, had a decent year initially, but oops, that year y'all went 5-10-1 and 10 and 1 because you were getting targeted too much. And I guess since we're going to play this whole let's blame everything on one player game, we'll blame Minnesota having such a terrible season on you. Since you were the primary receiver, you were the primary weapon on offense. And according to you, 
the main wide receiver is the person that carries the entire offense now they're responsible for the majority of the productivity of the offense so i guess you were solely responsible for that 5 10 and 1 record huh greg jennings seems like after that the vikings didn't want much else to do with you either because they figured out they didn't have an aaron Rodgers on their roster and what happened then you had one more season in minnesota then you went on your farewell tour with dr miami walking around slapping bbls all day right because you damn sure wasn't slapping pig skins because you were trash by that time greg jennings since we want to blame everything on one player but oh if we actually take a look at it instead of getting our takes from twitter universe we actually take a look at it and we look at how these games actually played out and we look at who was actually contributing during these games and who actually played well during these games and the circumstances that people had to play under then we will realize very quickly oh Dak hasn't had much help in the playoffs, even though you're lauding all the weapons that he has had on his teams. What weapons, Greg Jennings? What weapons? His secondary receiver that was kept here over Amari Cooper just retired because he couldn't play ball anymore. His heart wasn't in it no more. Before that, his other receiver was T.Y. Hilton, who was on his last leg and he retired. Before that, he had Cedric Wilson, who he made into a decent enough player for him to get a contract from Miami, but since then, he hasn't been able to find a football field. Oh, he did have Des Bryant for a season before he got hurt and then ended up having to retire. You see, Greg Jennings, every weapon that Dak Prescott has had has either been one-year bridge guys, dudes on their way out for retirement, or guys that have to end their career off of injury. C.D. Lamb is the first wide receiver that Dak Prescott has actually had a chance to grow with and groom outside of Amari Cooper, but oh, that pesky front office got rid of Amari Cooper for a bag of chip. Why? No one really knows Greg Jennings, but according to you, Dak has had all of this help, right? Even though in that wild card game against the Green Bay Packers, Dak accounted for 400 yards passing and was the second leading rusher on the team behind Tony Pollard by 11 yards. That sounds like a lot of help, huh? When your leading running back is only giving you 56 yards rushing, huh? A lot of help right there. That should do it. Oh, yeah. I forgot. The defense gave up 50 points that game. Then we go back and look at the divisional round game against the San Francisco 49ers. We see how this actually played out. And, oh, Dak had a pretty bad game on this one. But then we look at the running backs and realize the running backs couldn't even get 50 yards rushing in this game. So you tell me what is a quarterback supposed to do when he has no running game and no one else to really throw to outside of one guy because, again, the front office has done a terrible job of actually giving this man legit weapons. What are you talking about? Then we go to the wild card game against the San Francisco 49ers. In that game, Dak Prescott actually outplayed the opposing quarterback. This was a battle of top defenses. And what else happened in that game? Oh, again, the running game didn't even give you 50 yards rushing total between the running backs. And Dak Prescott was, again, your second leading rusher, missing that first spot by only four yards including being the only guy to actually rush for a touchdown in this game so Dak was responsible for all of your offense in this game had no other help but again the quarterback is the reason the team is losing in the playoffs huh Greg Jennings then we go to the division round loss against the Los Angeles Rams Dak Prescott had a quarterback rating of 99.2 in this game didn't have any turnovers actually had two touchdowns one on the ground one on the air what did he get in this game less than 50 yards rushing from his running back room yet again Ezekiel Elliott had 47 yards on 20 attempts if you do the math that's roughly about 2.5 or 2.7 yards per attempt or something like that that's pretty damn bad i don't know if y'all know that or not but that's not even the kicker the kicker is the defense gave up almost 250 yards rushing and actually it was a little bit over 250 yards rushing that the defense gave up but i guess that's Dak prescott's fault as well huh greg jennings then we look at his first playoff loss against aaron Rodgers. i guess we forgot that he actually outplayed Aaron Rodgers in that game, huh, Greg Jennings? And what's actually pretty interesting, and that's your old stomping ground shortly after they got rid of your broke ass. But in this game, he had 103.2 quarterback rating. Aaron Rodgers with 96.6. Remember, this was the game Mason Crossbar came into effect, and Jermichael Finley saved the Packers with that sideline catch after busted coverage on the defense. But remember, Dak isn't the best offensive weapon on the team, even though he has led the top three offense over the last three seasons. And CeeDee Lamb hasn't even been looked at as a top five receiver during that 
time. Actually, during last season, just as recently as last season, people were questioning whether or not CD was actually a number one receiver. But here we are having a conversation about Dak Prescott being the most overrated player on the Dallas Cowboys, according to Fan Boat. And Greg Jennings is trying to use this opportunity to make it seem like all of the Dallas Cowboys fans are over Dak. The front office is over Dak, even though the front office is currently in negotiations with Dak, as reports say. And I've built an entire platform pretty much being a fan of Dak Prescott and is one of the most successful platforms in the entire Cowboys community. But yeah, you're right. The fans are completely over Dak Prescott, huh, Greg Jennings? But you know what? I don't even know why I'm taking this take seriously. This is the same guy that says Daniel Jones is a better quarterback than Dak Prescott when we actually just seen Daniel Jones do this. Now, golly, it's a whole two years after you made this horrendous take and Daniel Jones is still not getting better, still looking trash. Dak Prescott is actually the person that's getting better year by year, Greg Jennings, and the stats actually prove that out. But go ahead. You go on with your bad self. You be the latest Dak hater to try to build your platform up off of saying polarizing and spicy hot takes about the Cowboys signal caller because, again, he's the most overrated player on the team right even though literally no one respects him because the bs narratives that you all have perpetuated on your airways but hey who am i man i'm just a guy with a youtube channel at the end of the day all i know is we stink from same old cowboys and greg jennings ain't nobody worried about you bro ain't nobody worried about you and stop speaking for cowboys calling me texting me paging me asking me am i still the ball y'all use the check on me listen 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 I'm still them boys. Hey! Hey! Woo! Oh, shut up, my boy. Hey! I'm still them boys.